Welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to cover X query assertion. So first of all, I'm going to create a new project. It's a soap project, which I'm going to create. And that's my visual file. It's for weather information. Click on OK. It's scan visual file and all the features provided by this weather information, all the functionalities provided by this web service listed over here. I'm going to create a new test suite and then test case. So case one. Here I'm going to add a step. So step one and get study forecast by jip i am giving jip information like 10017 so we are getting a lot of data from the server we have already seen how we can place xpath assertion so i hope you understand like if you want to validate this response like we should get city always new york so we are going with the xpath assertion like on this place on the city place we should get the data new york so that was my xpath assertion x query assertion is used when we are get, going to get same tag again and again like in our case you can check it over here i expand this window and here you can check it I'm getting forecast inside the forecast we have weather ID and that's a forecast for 29-2014 for 21-9-2014 again we have weather ID so we can check like we are getting this forecast for each and every day and each and every day we are getting a repetitive tag which is weather id so if you want to validate all the weather ids like i want to validate first we should get weather id 2 then 3 then 4 then 5 so in that case we have to make a lot of xpath assertion because one xpath assertion validate only one tag so if you want to validate the same tag again and again for that we have to go for multiple xpath assertion so the cases when we want to validate multiple data in that kind of cases we are going to use x query assertion so before that first we need to understand what is x query so x query is quite similar to like sql queries we are putting some queries we are hitting queries and we are getting response so here i'm going to add a x query assertion click on this and here we have x query match assertion click on add now x query match configuration window opens here first we need to clear click on the declare so these this is the namespace so here i'm expanding the size of this window so we can easily watch xml even i'm moving to the xml format now coming to the x query match configuration window first of all we need to mention namespace so click on declare it will automatically add namespace next first we need to define a tag which we want in the input so i'm defining a tag which is a result and as we know we have one starting tag and one end tag so that was my tag started now that's the boundary of this tag and forward slash result so i want the result in this format like starting with the result and end with the result again now in between that i need to write x query so here i'm writing for each dollar a in here we need to write x path again so as we know x path started with the 
as we know x path started with double slash so double slash first go to ns1 here we are defining ns1 as the namespace colon get city forecast by zip response so here is my first tag so get city forecast by zip response now moving to its child get a set get city forecast by zip result so i need to move till we are getting this weather id so i'm moving to get city forecast by zip result now i need to move to the forecast result again before that we need to mention namespace so that was ns1 colon and now ns1 colon that is my forecast result so forecast resu ld now inside that we have this forecast so forecast again namespace one forecast so we are moving to the particular node now inside that we have a description or weather id which you want to pick like i want to pick weather id so again ns1 colon weather id expanding its size so we can see it very well and now i want to pick text of it so again text for each this value in so i have given this complete x path and here we show this x path shows option is coming on a multiple places so like till this point my x path is common like get city forecast by zip response that gets city forecast by zip result and forecast result inside that we have multiple forecast and inside that we have description so that is first forecast second forecast and inside that we have description and i want to pick the value of the description which is coming at multiple points now i just want to return so return dollar a so let's see so running it select from current and here we get all the this all the weather ids so like on first place i click on like here we are getting two three two four 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 so click on save and going here so first time as weather was coming two next time three next time again two after that we are getting four and next time four so here we have seen like we are picking by a single query we are picking all the weather ids and that's my expected weather ids so here i can define my expected like two three four so first time weather id should be two then three then four then it should be five six seven so i'm expecting this click on ok so here my assertion is getting failed assertion is failing just because here you can see we are expecting two three four five six seven and we are getting something else so x query assertion is made to find out is developed to find out multiple data in a single query so here we have seen it is getting multiple data like it is getting first time the description whether id is two then three then two then four 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 means it's behaving like a query which is querying on an xml file and getting a result from there so we can validate multiple result on the same place like first time i am expecting two then i am expecting eight 